Pro's Tip, presented by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear, official apparel of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Hey guys, on this episode's Pro's Tip, I want to talk to you a little bit about fine tuning your kite. Remember that there's a variety of different kites out there, both from different manufacturers and for different wind conditions. You have kites that are designed to fly from 5 to 15 knots and kites that are designed for high wind situations all the way up to 30 knots. So make sure that you use the right kite at the right time. If you can only get your hands on one, this green SFE is a great all around versatile kite. It'll fly from 5 to 20 plus knots and it'll get the job done. Uh, remember that kites are adjustable. Each kite has a bridle right in the front of the kite that you can adjust by simply sliding this little slip forward and back. And what that's going to do is determine how that kite flies and how much wind it grabs. If it's flat, it's going to fly a little bit closer to the water. If you adjust it and turn a little bit on an angle, you're going to get more altitude, more lift, and you'll be able to get that kite higher up in the sky. How you adjust that is going to depend on the wind conditions that you're facing that day. If you're dangling light baits like pilchards or heavy baits like blue runners, that's going to make a difference as well. Also, if you're flying multiple kites and you want to keep those kites spread apart, you're going to have to add either a couple of shots on the corners, a couple of split shots, and how many you add, again, is going to vary depending on the wind conditions and how much spread you're looking to achieve. Usually one or two, sometimes even three shots is enough to get the job done. If I want that kite to bank to the left, I'm going to put a couple of split shots on the left side of the kite. If I want it to bank to the right, obviously I'll put a couple of split shots on the right side of the kite. Another thing to mention is we're flying helium balloons today and we're fixing those helium balloons to the kite with kite thongs. And these kite thongs are really simple, they're really versatile. Uh, it eliminates the use of having to tie that kite to the balloon, or I should say to tie that balloon to the kite with a piece of monofilament and using that electrical tape. Certainly you can do it that way, but this is just a, a little bit easier. Also, these kite thongs are adjustable. So if you're only flying one kite, it's okay to have that balloon right in the center of the kite. But if you're flying two kites like Carlos and I are today, we want to keep those kites spread apart. So I'm going to put my balloon on the right side, or I should say, depending on how you're looking at the kite, if it's going to fly in this orientation, I'm going to keep it on this side here, and that'll turn the kite, and it'll keep it almost like a wing, and it'll keep it flying to the left. And on the contrary, up in the bow, we'll put that balloon on this side, which will hold that kite in that orientation, and it'll force it over to the right. And that's what's nice about those bridles. They're really simple to use, really quick, and really adjustable. Another thing to remember is these kite spars. Kite spars are not interchangeable. These are designed specifically for each kite. You cannot use these spars on a different brand kite. In addition, these particular spars were designed for this particular kite. And don't, don't try and mix them up. It's just not gonna operate properly. And if you happen to break a spar, you really can't replace just one. You're gonna need to get an entire set of four spars because they really do all work together. It takes some practice to go out there and be a good kite fisherman, but I'll tell you, once you get it all dialed in, the rewards are absolutely awesome.